Hello everyone and welcome to Trapped. This is a series of drawing that I will be posting in the next couple of weeks. Basically, Trapped is a collective of uh, three artworks that will be themed around the same topic. But for now, I will leave the topic for your interpretation. I will be revealing what it's all about later later in the video, so you can so now you can think about it. And here is a little hint that I posted on my Instagram when I uploaded uh, this drawing. So here is the caption that I left on my Instagram one. Who would have thought that noble wood elves would dare to set up a magic trap on a defenseless fairy? Feridas is apparently very pricey on black market, but still it was a disgusting assault. So that is your hint for now. Uh, Please uh, think about like the meaning or the story behind this picture and I will reveal it later and you will find out whether you were right or not. Uh, but for now I want to talk about a little bit about uh, the materials that I have been using and what mediums and techniques uh, I used to complete this drawing. Uh, so my base colors I did with uh, my awful terrible watercolors that I had, well I believe approximately like 12 years, so they are terrible, they're not very pigmented. The, my struggle is comes from the pigmentation of this paint because some colors are very muted, very desaturated, and then some colors will be so bright and saturated that it's very difficult to, to use these paints because I wanted very uh, vibrant and saturated greens for these leaves and all the greens in my paints were very muted but uh, all the different colors like purples, pinks and reds are so are very saturated so I didn't want to use them. I filled it with colored pencils later uh, but that takes me to my another uh, material. I also used my water soluble colored pencils for this. Uh, I, bas I basically did the base colors with my watercolors and then went over them with my colored pencils. I also used a little bit of uh, black acrylic paint uh, for the spider. Uh, that's why it's very... that's why it's so pitch black. And I also watered down my uh, black acrylic paint and uh, went over the background one more time because the black watercolor was very very faint. Another big struggle was the paper that I have been using because uh, I did this in my sketchbook and I thought that the paper could handle uh, water and watercolors, but oh boy was I wrong. The, papers kept, the paper kept crumbling into like little pieces every time I went over the same spot uh, two times with my brush. So it was a big struggle to not tear the paper down. And I didn't want to transfer the sketch to my watercolor paper because I am lazy as fuck. Okay, so now I will talk about uh, the meaning of the series. Uh, you can confirm whether you are right or not, if you even thought about the meaning. The Trapped series is basically, I had an idea of making uh, three collective pieces around the topic of magical slash mythical creatures being uh, captured uh, for their attributes to be sold on black markets. So with this fairy, uh, it has been uh, captured. They want her to produce uh, fairy dust because it is very expensive for the black market. And that's basically it. Uh, any uh, future drawing will be a different creature with like a d different attribute. And that's basically the idea that I, that I had in my mind when uh, think about, uh, thinking about the collective. I hope that you who will like, uh, I hope that you will like it because I think it's kind of interesting. And yeah, I don't. I have a sketch for the next drawing already prepared, but I just have to get around uh, record, recording the coloring uh, part. And I don't have an idea for the third one, but I but I will come up with something, hopefully.
uh, here is the thing that I uh, tried to uh, do. I wanted to have a little bit of a vignette effect. So I took a sponge brush and uh, and I uh, darkened the corners of the of the drawing because I thought it would bring more focus to the uh, to the center and to the fairy. And here is my favorite part of any artwork: my gold and silver gel pens. Uh, always come in handy to do like little accents on my on my drawings so here i am uh, filling in her wings with some gold and some silver i hope that you can see it uh, well on the video but i'm not sure and here you can see the finished picture i hope that you like it and make sure to Leave a comment down below and tell me what you think basically. I also heard a little theory that if you like this video, one fairy gets uh, rescued from wood elves, so I don't know why wouldn't you like this video. So make sure to do that and also please subscribe if you want to see more of my stuff in the next two drawings. But for now, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you very very soon. Bye bye.